Yesterday, I traveled to the Golden Circle, which represents the nature and history of Iceland. I saw nature that left me in awe, and I saw the green aurora in the night sky. The aurora was shining enchantingly, embracing the mystery of space. Today, I am preparing for my last journey in Iceland. I'm going to visit a rich sea where whales dance and to see the relaxed lives of Icelanders. I'm off on my last journey. It hasn't been long since people became familiar with Iceland. I started this journey with a vague sense of admiration and expectations. However, it has the most interesting nature on this planet called Earth. I am leaving from Reykjavik and going to Svartifoss. Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, is the capital located furthest to the north in the world. This concrete building that is approximately 75 meters high is the largest church in Iceland. This unique building was designed after the columnar joint of Svartifoss. Its construction was completed in 1986 and took 400 years to build. The bell tower that juts out like a tall volcano can be seen from anywhere in the city. That means this place has the best view. Being the capital city, Reykjavik is where the politics economy and culture of Iceland are integrated. However, the city is quite plain. There aren't any high-rise buildings like you see in other big cities. A cute clutter of buildings with colorful roofs is seen. Iceland is a statue is in front of the church. It is the statue of Liefer Eriksson, the explorer who set foot on the American continent 500 years before Columbus did. This statue was a gift from the United States to celebrate the 1,000th anniversary of the Icelandic Parliament in 1930. What does Svartifoss, which influenced the design of Halgrimskirja Church, look like? Just then, Spartifoss, the black waterfall appears. Yeah, 
The columns of black basalt along with the waterfall create an impressive scene. The cold water of melted glaciers flows in a narrow current. Iceland has several waterfalls due to active volcanic activity and glacier operations. Of them all, this waterfall never fails to show up on brochures that introduce Iceland. This Pogpog is the island of Iceland. I don't know if it's more famous, but the shape of the Giam Gesok is very strong. And the current of the Pogpog is very strong. And the current of the Pogpog is very strong. Polygonal columns of basalt spread out along the cliff like the pipes of a pipe organ. Called columnar joints, they are created when lava cools down and contracts. So this rare site signifies the natural environment of Iceland, which includes volcanoes and glaciers. With this, I find another hidden gem of Iceland. Shall we go to the Blue Lagoon now? The white steam rising from afar seems to beckon to me. I follow the steam and arrive at this place. This is one of the world's top five hot springs. I marvel at the sight as soon as I step foot in the place. It's because of the color of the water. I'm at a loss for words. It's a milky blue hot spring, as if milk were mixed into the water. Isn't it fantastic? I instinctively press down on the camera shutter at its beauty. This enormous outdoor hot spring is the most famous one out of the 780 or so hot springs in Iceland. It is the world's largest saltwater hot spring, located in the center of solidified black volcanic ash. This resort location with beautiful scenery has become a must-see for tourists who visit Iceland. Icelanders are really nice. The weather is really nice. I didn't even see it before. <laughs> the 
the temperature of the water averages between 37 and 39 degrees Celsius. The hot water in this lagoon is actually leftover water from a nearby power plant after creating electricity. The water has been recycled. It is water drawn up from 2,000 meters below the surface. The heat is amazing, isn't it? Minerals like silica and sulfur are in the salt water, along with organic matter like algae, making it good for people with skin conditions. People are smearing something all over their faces and bodies. It's white mud, also known as silica mud. Silica mud is placed all over the hot spring. It's a special kind of mud that is found in this area and is known to be good for your skin. You can use it as much as you want for free at this place. Oh, feel good, I'm sure. My skin feels good. <laughs> How the, the what? Oh, the mud mask? It's very smooth, yeah, so far. That's not quite After all, which is good. <laughs> 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 okay. I make a friend. She's an old woman from Canada, and I rub the mud gently on her face. Okay. Now I look like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Silica is actually used as an ingredient for cosmetics and helps get rid of dead skin cells or body wastes. Oh. <laughs> People are resting and relaxing everywhere. This must be paradise. I can see why many people visit this place. I'm back on the road and head for Dalvik, a port city in northern Iceland, to visit the sea. I've traveled to several countries, but Iceland seems like the perfect place to drive. I'm driving through a picturesque area with vast fields and snow-capped mountains that come into sight. Dalvik is a small village located on the northern coast of Iceland. This village, where most of the residents fish for a living, is known for one thing.
날씨도 너무 좋고 여기 사람 말이 오늘 제대로 볼수 있을 것 같다 그러는데요. 아 사람들이 기다리구나. 모닝. 땡큐. 배를 타고. <웃음> I've wanted to see whales for a while. I'd like to see a killer whale, the strongest creature of the sea while I'm at it. Many different kinds of whales are seen here, including humpback whales and minke whales. Seven to ten meters, and we saw three of them uh, well, uh, yesterday, in morning tour. And, uh, last season, they even touched the horn. It was, it was that close to the boat, so you never know. The chance of seeing a whale here is nearly 99%, so my expectations grow higher. I am facing the Atlantic Ocean, which used to be the stage of dreams for adventurers in the past. However, the calm sea slowly shows its true wild character. Hanguezo is getting smaller and the I really feel like I'm off on an adventure. Right at that moment, the guide who is looking out suddenly raises his hands and points at something. Finally, a whale appears. It rises above the surface, but soon it goes underwater. <laughs> we wait again for a long time. This time, there are two. Whales come up here and there for a breath. Everyone is busy watching whales. You saw the whales? Yes, I saw it. Oh, it was uh, very nice. Magnificent. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'd like to see them again. Uh, that's what uh, we came for, so it was very funny. Very nice. And it's amazing that you get that exciting for just a couple of seconds. Whales will come more close to the sea. So, we're going to go to the boat. We're going to go more close to the sea. Okay. Okay. We speed up, wanting to see them in a hurry. Okay, okay, sorry. I get excited from seeing the whales from up close. I try to get them on camera. Sack, sack them out. Yeah, 
마지막에 꼬리를 보여줘야 되는데 아, 한번더 와보라는 시도일까? A whale shows up again. I wanted to take a picture of the graceful tail, but I keep missing it. Can you count how many times to see you seen the tails over the whale? Yeah, it's almost every time, but but uh, sometimes if they are smaller, they don't show it uh, as often as the, as the big ones. Uh -huh. So now we are chasing two of them. And one of them is showing the fluke, and the other one is probably smaller, so it's not showing the. But usually they are showing the fluke when they're deep diving. I see. I'm about to give up, as it is time for us to return to the boat. That's when luck is on my side. I'm able to see the whales swimming from a very close distance. This is the moment when the long wait pays off. I too leave my trace on this sea today. The last part of whale watching is fishing. The sea that faces the Arctic Ocean is a plentiful fishery with many cod and herring. A fish bites almost as soon as people drop their lines. People pull up fish not long after we start fishing. Put the line and the, the bait all the way down I'm the only the one who hasn't gotten any luck, and the guide gives me some tips. I do as the guide told me to, and I feel something tug at the line. However, whatever is at the end of the line doesn't come up easily. Oh, Lata! Got it! Yeah! It's a fat one. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a I'm pretty successful today. 
예. 아, 오늘 수확이 좋은데요. The cod is the most common fish in Iceland, and many dishes are cooked with it. <laughs> Can I have some uh, small pot? Because in Korea we eat this lamb. Yeah, yeah. You know this. Oh! Degue. <laughs> The raw cod on the deck is the best delicacy ever. A sea that gives abundantly. This is where the history of Iceland started and where their lives continue. A short drive from the coast leads to a vast pasture. It's hard to see people in Iceland unless you're in a big city or at a tourist attraction. 한차 이제 쭉 가고 있는데 사람들이 모여 있는 걸 봤어요. 무슨 노래 소리도 들리고 뭔가 흥겨운 분위기가 딱 느껴져서 무조건 차를 세우고 지금 와봤어요. A man hands me a bottle of liquor. Oh. <laughs> I just just saw people are together and okay. singing. So I just want to know what are they doing here. Every year we have bring the chips on the mountain. Yeah. And 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 do it here and we get drunk and sing. Sing, haha. <laughs> every year. Yes, every year. All every year. Time. Very much fun. Only this time. So you celebrate. So. Now we have to celebrate and and, and very few chips. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, what is this? <laughs> you try first. Try. Oh. Cheese. Ah. This is a shark. This, this is a shark. Wow. <laughs> the food that looked like cheese or fish was very unique. The strong and pungent flavor was much like fermented skate, a traditional Korean food. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Uh, now we are going to sing a song for him God. because yeah. he ate it. Yeah. One moment. Yes. Uh. Sing for him. Ah, cock, cock. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You go. You get a shark. 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 Ah. Uh, is, is it a hawker? Hawker. Ah, yeah. This is hawker. Ah. Yeah. Iceland 전통 음식인 하우칼이라는 상어 고기예요. <laughs> 우리나라 치면 홍어 삭힌 거 <laughs> 맛이 아주 특별한데요. <laughs> Hakarl is a dish that cannot be left out from the celebrations in Iceland. <laughs> This is the day when they gather the sheep that were left to graze in the mountains throughout the summer to take them home. The entire village does it together and share food when it is over. But an unexpected situation occurs. The sheep that were in the cage slip out. The people are busy rounding the sheep up again. 여기 다들 양들을 성공적으로 모아놨는데 <웃음> 다섯 마리가 탈출을 했어. 지금 그거 본다고 지금 사람들이 갑자기 어수선하게 난리예요. 아, 저쪽에 올려갔다. 저까지 갔다. <웃음> the sheep that caused the problem are over there. The villagers skillfully guide the sheep back into their pen. 
The commotion is over. The people show off tricks on their horses. <laughs> this is a native species to Iceland, which are used to herd sheep. They are known as a good breed because they are strong and smart. Pleasure and work and gathering sheep. Mm -hmm. Competition. Mm -hmm. There is a special reason, uh, famous yeah. in the world. Um, the Icelandic horse is mostly famous for his five gates. He's got uh, more gates than most other kinds of horses. Mm -hmm. He's got the very soft tilt. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, um, what do you say, popular. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The people head home after they finish herding the sheep. They look dignified like cavalrymen riding on their horses. The real party begins now. Everyone sings and dances happily. <laughs> My journey in Iceland is almost over before I know it. The time I spent here passes like a flash in my mind. <laughs> the giant glaciers, volcanoes, numerous waterfalls, and the mystical aurora. I was in awe everywhere I went and was overwhelmed at every moment. Iceland. It was a land full of life where the dreams of travelers come true.